Hey, boys and girls, ma'ams and sirs, and grown men and grown women. Because a lady wrote in once and she said, Demetri, you say hey, boys and girls, but I'm old enough to be your mother. I am not a girl. Hello, how are you? Welcome to my recap of The Bachelorette. So, I've never seen an episode of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. I can't name anyone from the franchise other than the people who were on my TV screen last night. So I believe it's the 13th season of The Bachelorette and they put a black girl on. She's a cute little lawyer. She's from Dallas. Nice job. She, she looks competent. She looks sane. She didn't do anything crazy last night. She's real tiny with little perky boobies. If my boobies were perky, I would have them out all the time too. My girls need a little help. So when you see my boobies out, understand there's a bra involved there. So far, I enjoyed my bachelorette experience. I didn't realize it was gonna be so similar to Flavor of Love. I mean, I guess they robbed the idea from The Bachelor, so it kind of makes sense. I thought The Bachelorette was gonna be a little more highbrow. You know, a dating reality show is what it is, but the guys were cute. Everyone was really nice to look at. There was a nice variety of men. There were definitely some, a lot of men of color. I would say that about half of the men were black, or came with melanin. Those are nice options for, for a nice black girl. Rachel looks like she is living the life. There's an eggplant festival going on in that house. 31 men is a whole lot of men. The guys are all fawning for her. They're all talking about marriage and that's my wife. And I was like, yeah. It's really nice to see a bunch of men like vying for the attention of this one black woman and seeing her as valuable and attractive and, and beautiful and worthy. As much as I'm tuning in for Rachel, I'm also tuning in for that. That's a lot of sausage in one place. Like, that's a, those are good options in quantity. But when you start looking at the quality of these dudes, like, these men are very interesting. A lot of these guys, I'm like, how did you make the cut? Some of them are very memorable, but like, for all the wrong reasons. The guy who showed up in a penguin suit, like, in what world, sir, did you think that that was gonna be a cute moment for you? Like, the Waboom guy, like, I would have called security. I really think that he is unstable and is a harm to himself and others. He's clearly not well. Like, clearly. The man who was talking about his libido, I prefer somebody who under promises and over delivers. There was some fool who showed up dressed like Urkel and then he got back in the car and changed into like his real clothes to be Stefan. Which choices did you make in life that led you to this choice? First impressions matter. My first impression of you is you're a ridiculous man. The guy who tickled her, sir, security, sir, you trying to get a quick feel and call it a tickle. You're a nasty man. And then his job was the tickle monster. Sir, is, what, what does that pay? Do you report to an office? That is not an occupation. There was a lot of dudes with questionable occupations. Like the dude who came with the marching band, he said he was an aspiring drummer. Sir, you could be an aspiring drummer when you're in high school, maybe in college. But how are you gonna be 31 and be an aspiring drummer? Is you a drummer or is you ain't? Are you an actor, sir? And that's why you're on the show? Actor, I'd be like, okay, you have a craft. You There's something that you've dedicated yourself to, something you're passionate about. My favorite description, oh boy, Oh, what was his name? He was cute. Little boy from Chicago. He's a grown ass man talking about, I got swag and 500 plus pairs of sneakers. Sir, Diggy, is that some Diggy? Yeah, sir, get the hell out. What do I care about your sneaker collection for? But tell me about your real job. I asked for too much and I probably shouldn't have asked for that because then he said his job was a senior inventory specialist. And I was like, what that mean? Is it because a senior inventory specialist like is that like fancy speak for I work security, I work in the stock room, or I work in retail? Senior inventory specialist, just say you work at Foot Locker, it's cool. You, you work in the stock room, that's cool. You got the overnight shift, don't you get like time and a half for working at three o'clock in the morning? I respect the honest check and honest work. Get, get your checks, and I hope you got them sneakers on discount. There were some really cute guys and some like decent guys who, like, I'm like, okay, I see how you ended up on the show. It was a little disappointing that out of the 31 guys that were available to Rachel what it boiled down to was like five and a possible which are really great odds for spades but when you're talking about like a room full of 31 men only six of them being halfway decent choices are not really the odds you want in a dating situation I'm trying to think who did I like I liked Brian and Rachel liked him too he got the first impression rose he was so he's not husband material. You don't consider a man that tells you he's a good kind of trouble husband material. He's fine though. And he was like, I'm a chiropractor. I'm good with my hands. It's Colombian. He's cute. He's a good three day weekend getaway. Like you take him to a bed and breakfast and y'all never leave the room. I ain't mad.
good at that. I'm... My boo is Josiah. And so a lot of people didn't like him. They thought he talked too much, that he was very cocky. I was really surprised to see he was from Florida because he gave me very Brooklyn swag, like very, very Brooklyn, Flatbush. Like, I, I yeah. Yeah, and he a lawyer too. Like, I was like, oh, okay. He seemed very into her. When Rachel came in the house and he went right over and was like, let me, let me speak to you outside. Like, he made sure he got his time. I like a man that goes after what he wants. He... He did that. He was very like, yeah, I see something I want. I go get it. Y yes. Yes. This. Yes. He works for me. I, I like him. I like Kenny. We haven't gotten to know enough about him yet. He's a single dad. I'm a little concerned about this wrestling thing because he's a wrestler at 35. And I'm like, this, you know, or like, where are you trying to go with this? Like, I just need to know, like, where is this wrestling taking you? Are you a full time wrestler? And at 35, how much how much more time do you have to wrestle? What's the game plan after wrestling? I mean, we're talking about husbands. So like if you were just dating him, I'd be like, oh, great, whatever. If you're talking about a husband, I need to know like what your long term goals are, because we're talking about building a life together. Like what does life look like for you? So Fred, I like Fred. He's okay. Something about Fred is rubbing me the wrong way though. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm not ready to rule him out. But Rachel keeps talking about Fred. Like she's like, oh, he was such a bad kid. I remember him. He was in third grade, bad kid. Ma'am, you you get in the DeLorean and come back to 2017. Fred ain't no goddamn child. You need to, you need to see Fred for who he is today. Cause Fred look nice. I like the firefighter. He swept her off her feet. Like, that's the one that picked her up, right? He didn't do anything crazy. And sometimes that's all you need to do. I like a man in uniform. And he was very crisp. I liked him. He was cute. I, I want to see where he goes. I'm not ready to give him a, a strong vote of confidence, but I think he's a, I think he's solid. Mario. Interesting name. Um, cute. Looks good in a suit. Nice disposition. Seems really interested in her. I like him. He doesn't. He hasn't left like a big impression on me yet, like the like Josiah. But he's. I like him. But that's it. That's like the only people I can really like take seriously on this show. You know, Rachel meets all the guys, and at the end of the episode, very standard dating reality. It's time to eliminate some people. She kept like my top five and a possible, but she also like kept some people that I was like, man, was this a producer's choice or do you just have really bad judgment? The guy who wore the penguin outfit who kept the penguin outfit on the whole time, he stayed. He didn't even have the good sense to be like, this penguin suit is hot, I'm gonna go take it off. That's weird. Who else? There was somebody else who should have gone that stayed. Penguin, oh, horrible ass waboom. I'm, that was so obviously a producer choice, but oddly enough, when Rachel was like spending time with him, she actually acted like she liked him, like she was into him. Like, ma'am, you you seriously are considering this. It might be better for you to stay single. I don't know if your your choices in men are correct. Oh, the ventriloquist? Him and that creepy ass doll never should have been in the house. I, I would have called security because that thing creeped me out. Like it's, it looks like something out of a Stephen King novel. No clowns, no dummies. It's creepy. Three men absolutely got robbed of their spaces because those three were a blatant obvious no. Like you're clearly keeping them around for a shenanigan because you think that's what people want to see on TV. Actually, no, I don't really need to see shenanigans. I actually think dating is hard enough without adding additional manufactured crazy to it. Like most of the dudes took being let go with some dignity and some pride, except for your boy Milton. This dude was outside crying. I'm thinking dude is, is having some feelings, some emotions about this woman. Oh boy was like, yo, I, I was the best dress. I packed so many outfits that I'm not going to be able to wear. Sir, if you don't get your goddamn luggage, get out, get out. I can't say for sure that I'm going to tune in for every episode. The deal I'll make with you and with ABC is this. As long as the show is interesting, I will keep coming back. And I'll tell you at the end of every video recap whether we're going to do this the following week. So, okay, thanks for tuning in. It was awesome to, to be with you once again. Let me know what you thought of last night's Bachelorette, if you're going to keep tuning in, well, who your faves were. I want to know these things. So. Talk with me, share with me, kisses, mwah, mwah, mwah.